welcome back to my channel Manvita Abhiraj. Friends, today I am giving the information of the topic how to find the time period of the following. So before talking about the topic, friends, please like my video, share my video. So let's talk about the topic now. So here is the topic called how to find the time period. So first let us know what you mean by time period. Time period means it is the time required to complete one oscillation. It's called as time period. So now let us know what you mean by oscillation. Oscillation means it is the to and from motion of an object is called as oscillation. So now let us find the time period of the first question that is 500 oscillation per second. So here in one second the 500 oscillation has been completed. Now we are going to find how much time required to complete one oscillation. Got it? So now let's find. First we are going to write the formula of time period. Time taken. Divided by number of oscillation. So the formula of time period is time period is equal to time taken divided by number of oscillation. So is equal to time taken is what is the time taken? That is one second. That one. Second. If required, we can get second or else only one we can write. Divided by, as it is divided by number of oscillation. How many oscillation has been completed here? That is 500. So, 500. So, now we are going to divide one by 500. So, how much we get? That is 0 0.002 seconds. So, this is the time period of 500 oscillation per second. To complete the one oscillation, 0.002 second has been time required. Got it? So, here 1 by 500. We are going to divide 1 by 500 and then we get 0.002 second as the time period. Got it? So, friends, this was all about how to find the time period of the following. So friends, please like my video and share my video. Thank you.